Ladies and gentlemen, it is the weekend again, and so that means we are going by hunting, but not just any old watchers. We're going to take this episode to spend some time exclusively on Rangeman and what you can get here today. Thanks for joining. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the weekend. As said, we're going to go by hunting and we want to focus on Rangeman watches. I've been a big fan of the Rangeman, not their most recent releases, but certainly their initial releases of Rangemans, which were really designed to be that particular watch, which was built for rescue services people, people who were in uh, extreme conditions, for example. They needed features like compass, barometer, uh, altimeter, those sorts of things. And the initial releases of Rangeman were just spectacular. They were solid, they were clear, they were comfortable to wear. Uh, and then over time, they kind of took on things which they probably didn't need to. They started to take on the GPS coordinates, which I guess can potentially make sense for someone in a, uh, a rescue situation. But what that did to the watch was it took away the ability for the watch to work independently of a power source. You start to see the introduction of uh, the need to do USB charging on those watches. You know, the initial watches had tough solar and they just worked non-stop, wasn't an issue at all. Uh, but over time, those watches have become more complicated. Maybe they're trying to compete in a market they probably shouldn't, but they kind of lost that charm, I guess, that, that ruggedness. Uh, and they still don't look terrible, but they're just not the range mans of old. So I want to spend some time talking about some of the secondhand rangements that are available on Bai. And what's interesting is that these watches don't necessarily depreciate in value. In fact, they gain value over time because of some of the really interesting collaborations they actually had collaborations. I need to try and work on my English. Um, the interesting collaborations, the designs, they've always retained the same shape, but it's the uh, back plates or the colors or the, the collaborations on the bands themselves always made those range of range bands really, really interesting. So uh, I'm going to switch over here to the desktop and, and this is where we spend our time today looking at some of these range mans and what you can actually get. Now I'm not going to amble through these sites randomly. I did spend some time before doing some research looking for some of the interesting watches and there's quite a few. Um, there are watches which I would love to be able to get a hold of. Certainly some of them I've been able to uh, grab like the Hong Kong Fire Services Department. You won't see that watch typically on this particular site. This is the Bai site, which is a front end for the Japan Yahoo auction site. Um, if you wanted to get a Hong Kong Fire Services Department, you would probably have to go to something like Carousel on, uh, on Hong Kong and get it there. So we're going to be focusing on what you could potentially get through Japan. Um, so with that, Let's, uh, let's start off with some of the interesting ones here. This one I saw, uh, and I kind of looked at it and went, okay, well, it's a, a blue G-Shock, but it's actually a range man, which is a men in Navy watch. Now, I hadn't actually heard about a men in Navy watch before. Certainly, uh, I've been having conversations with a colleague at work. He's a great fan of the Navy. In fact, he used to be in the Navy, and it's a pleasure to be able to work with him. He's a good colleague. And, you know, we quite often talk about the uh, Navy Frogman watch, uh, which is a gray watch, a Frogman style, very expensive. But then what was interesting was to come across this particular watch. This is the Master of G Rangeman Men in Navy watch. And I hadn't seen this before. And I was trying to think to myself, did somebody just brand this as a men in Navy watch? Because if I look around, there's nothing in here which makes this look like it's anything different. It still has the range man backing. But even if I check out the Shockbase website, which is kind of our go-to, 
there's really not much in there which talks about men in navy. But if you search for this particular watch, uh, you will actually find it's for sale labeled as a man, men in navy, men master of G navy. I guess the names get a little bit confused over time. But they're upwards of $999. That's a significant price for this particular watch, considering this watch secondhand, we can get it right now on Bai for around about $279 sing. So the secondhand market or the market for this particular watch is really, really up there. Like this is one of the watches that we're going to start off with where the value in the market is quite a bit higher than what we're seeing here on uh, buy. You could buy this out today at $279. Um, the current price is 279, zero bids, but the market itself is telling us that this watch itself is upwards of $999 uh, to purchase. So it's an interesting watch to start off with. If you look for that particular model, you will see men in navy as that uh, that watch and it's not a bad looking watch it's fairly striking i guess the the concern that i would always have with one of these watches is it's a negative display and some of those negative displays it just doesn't work for me sometimes when you go and look for it in a, a night time i'd much rather a positive display which i find is a lot clearer uh, but some of the aspects of the watch kind of nice a striking blue combination of yellow whites and red not a bad looking watch overall and for that particular price for a range man which is a men in navy which they say is limited edition not a bad purchase overall right at that particular price it's a it's a good score but there's more to look at right we're going to look at some other watches as well so uh, jumping into this one this one is a strange one to me uh, and i think this one could be a trick maybe i don't want to say a trick maybe it's labeled incorrectly a g-shock men in rescue range man now this one i hadn't heard before i know for a fact that many of the rangemen are focused on some of the firefighting departments some of the rangers all those different things but to see a men in rescue range man is not one i've actually seen before so of course I did go back to Shockbase to, to check this out. And there's, there's two models of this particular watch. One is the 9400RD-4 and a 9400RDJ-4. And typically the J is an indication that it's a Japan domestic market watch. And so when we look at this, there's nothing really here which is labeled as a rescue man watch. Now, that being said, the Men in Navy watch didn't have anything on shock base either for that being a Men in Navy watch. But um, there isn't anything really in this particular watch which has on either model anything which is particularly about uh, rescue men or things like that. So uh, the price that we see here, if we go to the Japan site, came out about 48,000 yen. They want around about 68,000 yen, which I think is a fairly steep premium. Um, if we go back to that Men in Navy, the Men in Navy was 48,000 yen, but the actual price going for right now, the buyout price is 30,000. So if you looked at both those watches, which don't necessarily look to be like they're limited edition in any particular way, you're, if you weren't hang up on colors and want something unique, the men in navy one would potentially be a better watch to uh, to go after at that point um but interesting let's jump into some of the other ones that are a little bit more interesting this is one which i own today this is the uh, the black and yellow uh 50, 000, 55 000 yen as a buyout price it's a nice watch my, my wife loves to joke about this one saying it is a, a watch which is built for the uh, the staff for scoot airlines because their color scheme is black and yellow as well um but this watch 55 000 yen the going market price 55 000 yen this is pretty much a standard price and what you'll typically see is if you go into Japan 
any check into a, a you go into a big camera or something like that they'll have this watch up there and they'll say it's, it's actually exclusive to japan but you know i think if you were to go back and have a look this is the japan and china if we go back a little bit and have a look there's also a model which is not necessarily limited to japan same watch black and yellow again um so you know price wise what are we looking at here we've got fifty-five thousand yen if we go back to our japanese version fifty-five thousand yen if you can you'd probably be better off going ahead and buying it uh in japan if you happen to be there uh if not it's uh, it's not a bad watch. Great watch because of the fact it is a positive display, right? Positive display, black, yellow highlights, rock solid watch, right? I, I love this watch. I'll wear it quite often, at least once a week. I find it very comfortable, easy to go ahead and actually wear. This next one, now we start getting into some of the unique ones, right? This is the Kobe City Fire Department Collaboration Watch. Now, these ones really are uh your branded rescue people watches they are super super cool really nice and they get super expensive really quickly take a look at this price this one the current price right now is thirteen hundred dollars sing hundred and forty thousand dollar yen now no one's bid on this watch and it could be because it's just crazy expensive right buyout price is a hundred and fifty thousand yen if we look at what this price was going for when it came out, 50,000 yen. So what they're saying is this watch is worth 3x. That's what they say. Now, I've always told my kids when people talk about how much a watch is actually worth until somebody buys the watch off you at the price that they agree, that's what the watch is actually worth. Um, but, you know, 150,000 yen versus a market price of 50,000 yen is very, very different. Um, but it is a cool watch. It's got the Kobe Fire City Department watch on the back there so that the back plate is unique in terms of what it can actually do. Um, but at three times the price, at 1,500 yen, sorry, 150,000 yen, you know, that is one of those watches which I'd have to squirrel away money and make sure no one knew I actually bought it. Um, but there are watches later on, which I'm going to go and show, which I'd much rather spend some uh, some money on. Um, so the Kobe Fire watch, great watch, great colors, that sort of bright red, some of the yellow to, uh, sorry, some of the blue to purple. Very, very cool, uh, cool watch. Another one, which is just out there uh, is this very, very bright pink and black watch. Um, I don't think I'd actually go and buy this one unless if I was really hunting down and trying to lock down all of the range mans and maybe one day I will, uh, but a bright pink and black G-Shock range man might be something a little bit out of, uh, of my zone, uh, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's got its charm, I guess. This particular watch came out at 52,000 yen. It's trying to be bidded out for 69,000 yen. So again, gone up in price over time. Uh, this one is our other fire services department. And I've put a few of them together just to, uh, to get a range. This one comes up fairly regular. And when it does, it never sells underneath what it came out in the market for. It's it's kind of crazy. So this is the uh, the the fire firefighting assistance. I'm going to show you why it's kind of cool. Uh, if I can find one of the images with it on there, uh, you can actually see here it's got three of the fire services department logos on there, right? So. Uh, all three are actually located on the particular watch itself. Now, these watches are going for 90,000 yen, uh, 80,000 yen, 78,000 yen. Okay, it's a bit cheaper. 81,000 yen. All very, very expensive, but they are cool watches. It's the black and red with the yellow stripe on the side. 
really nice classic G-Shock range man. Uh, the price when it came out, 50,000 yen. So to get one of these second hand, there's lots of them, but the price never comes under 50,000 yen. It's always gonna be a magnitude above that. Um, but still, very cool looking watch, something really nice to, uh, to have a look at. Uh, switching gears, this is one which, yeah, unique, very, very yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, as they sort of say. Kind of like the inverse of what we had over here, which was kind of like a dark yellow and black. What we've got here is a bright yellow and black, and this is a 30th anniversary lightning yellow range man. Now, of course, uh, you've got the 30th anniversary on the back, so it is a lot more unique than what the other arrangements are. It's got the back plate, which is different. It's a gold back plate. It doesn't have the cat. It's got the 30th anniversary on there. So really, really cool watch. Um, Price-wise, we're looking at 90,000, 91,000 yen. Uh, that, when it came out, 52,000 yen. So again, uh, a watch which is just almost doubled in value uh, on the second-hand market, obviously because of its 30th anniversary nature. Um, but I do like this particular watch for the reasons I've sort of said before. You've got that uh, nice sort of bright color, the color combinations of yellow, red, black, kind of looks like bumblebee a little bit, but the positive display. The positive display for me is just the, the thing which, uh, which kind of nails it. You know, like I've said before, the negative display is sometimes hard to read, but the positive display is just so much more clearer. And this is certainly going to be a watch which is fairly striking on your particular wrist. Moving ahead, love the sea and earth. These guys always come up with some bold range mans. They've got a few of them out here. On the market, I found two of these green ones. And again, price-wise, they're up there. You know, we've got 100,000 yen, we've got 118,000 yen, and if you can spot a trend, typically most of these watches go for 52,000 yen, and 50,000 yen on shock base, as you can see, no difference here. Um, what is nice about these watches, and I've sort of told you before what I'm fond of, is the uniqueness of the back plate. So you've got this very, very complicated um, logo on the back of Love the Sea and Earth. And they do a lot of collaborations of Love the Sea and Earth um, with the G-Shock watches, not just the Rangemans, many other watches have done, I think with the Frogmans as well, um, but they do lots of different collaboration watches. And so this one's a really nice one. The greens, the yellows, uh, the lime, I guess, but with the really nice uh, uh, backing, uh, the back plate of that particular watch. Um, so 118,000 yen, uh, 100,000 yen. Again, we're looking at a watch which is doubled in price overall. Here's another Love to See an Earth watch. This one is a little bit cheaper. It's 70,000 yen, uh, but same thing again. It's got the uh, unique plate on the back, if you can sort of see it. Uh, a little bit different, it's a different edition. Uh, this particular watch, 54,000 yen, right? So not as massively high, but it may not be a look you're into. It's kind of unique. It's got the blue sort of band with the yellow gel sort of look about it. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, not my sort of style, but there's a couple coming up. There's one in Love to See and Earth that I'm kind of curious to click the button on uh we'll see what actually happens because you know once you start bidding everything starts to catch up um so you know seventy thousand yen uh, against a price which as we sort of say 50 54 000 yen fairly pricey here's we get some interesting ones here these last two watches i'm seriously considering pressing bid on and I'm probably going to get in trouble for it but uh, they are kind of unique. Uh, the first ones we have is the G-Shock Rangeman Cassowary Earthwatch edition. Uh, interesting sort of watch. You've got that sort of blue 
but it's not necessarily a flat blue. It's kind of a scratched up or, or rustic blue, I guess you'd sort of say. But the colors are interesting. You've got the blues, the oranges, the reds, the blacks. And this particular watch, if we go and have a look at it, is the Cassowary Earth Watch Edition. Now, there's two of them. This one's at 50,000 yen. This one is currently at 48,000 yen. Um, and you can sort of see very striking band, uh, very interesting sort of watch. And on the back, we've got the Love the Sea and Earth. This particular watch is sitting at 45,000 yen. Now, going by the prices that we've talked about, that's going to come under what the market actually uh, normally sells for. So if we go up, the normal watch is the normal price of this watch is fifty five thousand yen. Uh, now, of course, one day remaining, you could get lucky on this particular watch. Um, forty five thousand yen, fifty thousand yen price when it came out. So fifty five thousand yen. Yeah, you're saving maybe $100 on this particular watch. So that one could be a bargain if you're hunting it down. It is used, what it says, um, and they're pretty tough. You know, you're not going to go too far wrong. This one's used. This one's used. Can't really see too much wrong with these particular watches. They look pretty solid overall. Now, the last one uh, that I'm looking at, Look, not going to totally blow your mind, but I kind of like the color combination. I want to show you this one. This is the Burton watch. Now, it's interesting. There's this one, which has this sort of dull white look about it. But then there's another one, which has this very bright white look about it. Now, I'm not sure if this is purely because of lighting when the camera was actually taking pictures of the watch itself. Um, I really like this very bold white look about the watch. I think it looks very, very cool. Um, almost Stormtrooper-esque in nature. This one's going for $465 Sing, so 50,000 yen. The other one is sitting at about 43,000 yen uh, with zero bids and two days to go. Um, it's, a, it's just a duller color and I'm not sure if they are two different watches or not. Now, these watches themselves, uh, when they came out, they came out for 55,000 yen. And both of these, 50,000 yen at the current price, uh, this one's at 43,000 yen. You know, if that color is just a bad dull color uh, because of lighting, maybe it's not such a bad purchase. Um, but this is a Burton combination watch. And so the difference on this one, if we go back, uh, what you'll sort of see here, it's got the Burton logo on here, uh, which standing sideways, I think it's snowboarding. I don't, don't really use Burton that much. It's more the look of the watch, which I kind of like. Um, but yeah, cool kind of watch as well, right? So, you know, this is, this is something which I might be curious to go ahead and actually pick up the Burton watch, um, but again, maybe the Cassari one might be one to uh, to grab as well. So this is what I love about Range Man watches. I mean, I love G-Shock watches for all the different types I actually have, but Range Man, that initial generation, if we go back and have a look at these Range Mans, uh, let's switch over. There's so many cool color combinations, background history between them. Um, there are some which are exceedingly hard to get, uh, such as, uh, where is it, my go-to range man. I can't even see it now. Um, oh, this one here. This is the uh, Hong Kong Fire Services Department watch, one which I own. It's got a great back plate on it with the Hong Kong Fire Services Department uh, logo. You can't even find this on Bai. You'd need to go to a website like Carousel Hong Kong to look for this particular one. Um, but super cool watch, very striking, great talking point. But when you look at all the different rangements that are out there uh, in that first sort of GW9400, it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of uh, uh, cool watches to be able to go ahead and actually hunt down. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. 
thank you so much for spending some time with me rambling around on the uh, on the Bai website looking at some of these range bands. Uh, I hope if you get a chance to grab one, you should. They are a great, great watch. Really comfy. Uh, go for that positive display uh, unless you're really taken by some of the colors, maybe the, uh, the hot pink. Uh, but please shop wisely, grab a G-Shock. I'm sure you'll absolutely love it in your collection. Thank you so much for joining me today.